Hey guys and welcome to help with iOS 5. We're gonna jump straight into the camera app. So double tap the home button, tap on our camera, and you'll see that's now a quick access into the camera on iOS 5. Let's talk you through the options here. So first of all, you got uh, flash. Uh, you can set it to auto on or off by default. Uh, I believe it's on auto, I always leave mine off. The other option is uh, you can turn grid and a HDR on. Um, so grid is really good if you've got kind of a portrait shot or something like that. Maybe you're taking a photo of three or four people standing in a group, you want to make sure they're in the center. That's really easily done in iOS 5. Um, I will leave that off. Another option is HDR. So HDR it stands for high definition range. It takes the darkest version of a photo and a lightest version of a photo. And we'll merge those together and it's really good if you're taking a picture of uh, something with the sky in the background, instead of it just being complete white, uh, it will kind of uh, dim that down or in a really dark situation it will brighten it up. The other uh, third option up here is actually to switch the camera around, so you've got a front facing camera there. Um, so you can just switch it around and take photos of yourself. My friend, you've got a 0.3 megapixel camera, so it's not the most detailed thing you've ever seen. But it's pretty good if you just want to flick it around and take some photos of you and your friend, I don't know. Um, so a few other hidden things in here. So first of all, you've got pinch to zoom on iOS 5. So pinch in. And you'll see a bit more detail on that floor, which is great for you. You can go really far if you want to, if you're really obsessed with it. Um, but obviously the further you zoom in the less detail you'll have. Other option here is tap to focus, so if you in this case really want to tap on the wall you can do that, you can tap on any part of the wall. Or you want to tap on the floor you can do that too. There you go. And you'll see when it focuses it tries to make, uh, bring one texture forward and leave the rest in the background. You also got this really cool feature in iOS 5, let me just take some photos. So I can show you. Um, once you've taken all these photos, you can just swipe left and it will take you into your camera roll. So you see one out of three photos here. Again, to uh, view more detail of the taken photos, you can zoom and pan around. Uh, something really cool, which most Android devices don't have, which is one of the selling points for me, is if you pinch, you can still pan at the same time, so you can get quick detail and zoom out if not. Okay. Um, again, you just swipe right to get back into camera, swipe left to uh, jump back into your camera roll. If you access the camera roll from uh, your lock screen, then it'll only show you the photos you've literally just taken. It won't show you the rest of the photos in the camera roll. Whereas if we jump into here, the normal camera app, swipe left, it will show us all the other ones we've taken. So I took a couple earlier just to show you guys what that looks like. Let's not forget, you can uh, of course put it into landscape or portrait. You can also turn it upside down and for some reason it honors that as well. And one of the coolest features of iOS 5 is you can uh, hit that plus button up there on the uh, volume controls to take a photo. If you have your headphones plugged in as well and it has volume controls on it, same thing there. So if you've got the plus, minus and uh, central button on your headphones, again, just press the plus button to take that photo. So let's jump into your video camera. So on the iPhone 4 you get 720p video recording, on the iPhone 4S you get 1080p video recording. On both devices you have two, um, two microphones, so down the bottom left is the first one, and at the top next to the headphone port is the second. And a lot of people think that those are two speakers, no you've got um, mono audio, that's one speaker. That is a microphone. Um, so this microphone at the top next to your headphone port will act as a noise cancelling microphone. It will also uh, be on it by default, it will be the default microphone when you're on speaker or something like that. So you can hold the phone at the bottom and speak and it will use the noise cancelling one. Another pretty cool feature is if you're in need of a quick torch, um, you can just tap on even if you're not video recording. And uh, if you flick it over you'll see uh, it stays on for as long as you want it. Of course, if you leave it on for too long, your back of your phone can get quite hard. It's quite a powerful. Uh, uh, it's quite a powerful flash up there. So if you're going to use it for a couple seconds, it's a great idea. If not, it will run down your battery and maybe heat up your phone a little bit too much. Of course, your camera can be accessed in other applications as well. So if we tap on Tweetbot, uh, okay. 
checked it on airplane mode to stop notifications coming through. If I then um, want to attach a photo to this new tweet I'm putting out, then I can just uh, tap on settings, take photo or video and just start doing that myself. So the camera is open up to developers and all their applications as well. Instagram is, is uh, a really good photos app. So you can put effects on kinds of different lenses uh, and, and that kind of stuff on your photos. So the camera on iOS 5 is quite advanced. The camera on iPhones is quite advanced. And, uh, all the apps kind of take it that step further. That is all for this YouTube video. Uh, it was on the camera app in iOS 5. Um, please kind of like, comment, give me some more suggestions on my YouTube channel, um, kind of what you want to see. I just want to share with you guys as well, I've tweeted probably too much, 1,680 times in three days. Uh, and we've got 312 followers so far, which is like 100 followers a day, which is pretty good. Um, so I'd love it if you guys could um, subscribe on YouTube and follow me on Twitter. Um, and in a couple of days as well, I'll be running kind of a, a competition to see who's going to win uh, my iMessage ID to ask me and get priority uh, responses of all their questions and troubles uh, with their iOS devices. So do go ahead and uh, jump on Twitter and follow me. Thanks very much for tuning in guys, I'll see you in a bit.